Hi guys, hope you're doing amazing. It's been such a long time. Honestly, I sort of forgot how to do this. But, nevertheless, there are so many videos I want to watch with you, and so many songs I want to listen with you. And today, I thought I would get myself again used to the reaction with Soya. You tell me that uh, I should watch our interview before I begin again and I did not all of it I guess but it's been such a long time ago so I'm not sure and I'm not quoting but just to summarize that she was young and she was not arrogant but a bit cocky and she wanted to prove herself and honestly right now she's reflecting on that time and feels that she should have been doing things differently but I don't think so because when we're young I should have I should have said that after reaction but anyway when we're young we want to prove ourselves more we want to show the world who we are and I think there's nothing wrong with that and again when you're young your voice your body can handle much more than when it gets older of course when when it comes to opera singers, yes, your voice develops and there are some some part of is that you should not be singing, for example, when you're in your 20s, <laughs> but you still do, <laughs> but you shouldn't because your voice is not yet ready for that, your, your apparatus is not yet ready for that. But my point is, when she reflected on that time when she was hitting high notes and doing all of those performances, she felt that she was being too much for herself, but I don't think so. I think she was doing what felt right at the moment and honestly, with how, even with how much I love Soyan, I'm not sure we would even know about her if she didn't go to those shows and rearrange those songs to hit crazy high notes not for opera high notes of course but for modern performances and for modern standards okay for any standards really high notes i mean start from a going up to d e like re mi of like six i guess yeah six so uh everything we do is for a reason and she should not feel guilty about doing what she was doing when she was younger this is just my point but anyways uh that was that caused her to have a little mental breakdown a little one not a huge one as i understood please don't move me on that i put the link in the description box about the video and right now she's rediscovering herself in a bit more mm, calm and a bit more, you know, uh, soothing manner and soothing uh, with the soothing uh, with the more soothing compositions. So I thought that of course we should react to that and just appreciate her voice. And what better way to start that with a beautiful ballad? I think it is a ballad. Taba, please. Written by Isora. I'm not sure how that is. No, no. But, anyways, I uh, should take my mouse. I mean, it's been such a long time since I've been doing that. <laughs> this, I still like it, but I mean, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Oh, 
it. Nice. Yeah, Oma, Oma, yeah, ha. Mm hmm. Yes. Down. Oh, it's such a harsh hug. Sorry, that was such a harsh cut. Oh, that's nice. I'm not sure whether it's shooting that. Hmm. That was way too fast. It has been four minutes already. That was way too fast. Ah, uh, ah, uh, people were crying. Oh God. Mm. I will listen to that again. Oh, and the jacket, oh, what that is. It's just so stylish. It's such a <laughs> bulky, but it's stylish. <laughs> I'm not sure I could ever pull that off. I mean, everyone can, I guess, with proper, proper mindset. Mm. So that was dialed down. <laughs> okay, I guess. I guess I can see how she could have done it in her Soyan way. Oh, especially the choruses. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this is Soyan. This is the old Soyan. So you see how <laughs> I can predict what she would have done before she went onto this program. Like she, there's, it's just it's just her song, and uh, and even later she could have got. <clears throat> I'm, I'm trying hard here, but you know, of course, this is the first time here. My point is what I'm trying to say. How should I put this? I can see how she chose the song. She could have chosen the song even when she tried to showcase the most of her talent, the most of her voice and um, practice and work, hard work. Yeah. But yeah, she, she kept it. <laughs> relatively down <laughs> like she restrained herself here and that's nice that's still a nice song i'm not saying that we don't need high notes of course we do it shows technique it shows uh stamina it shows work like hard work and proper skills but it doesn't mean that without high notes we cannot appreciate the song this is what i'm trying to say and if the song is nice, it doesn't need to be uh, very strenuous on a person's vocal cords and person's breath, you know, body, like all body, all together. 
And it's so sad. It's just such a sad song. I relate to the song as well. Please, please come back. Please don't go forever. Because sometimes you break up, you, ha you hit the rough patch and or something just comes our way because love is not that simple. Sometimes there's much more than just two people involved. It's not just two people, but at least it's two people and their background and their um, you know, experiences in life, which involves much, much more than just two people. It's not just two blank sheets of paper or with just some writing on it. It's much more complicated and sometimes people break up, of course, but sometimes it's insufferable to just let that person go when you understand that it's your person and you, you want to fight for that person. So, uh, the meaning of the song. I'm not sure what Isora meant when she was writing the song or even if she was writing the song, I'm not sure because I did not do the research on that because, you know, sometimes the singer is singing a song, but it's not his song, it's not... It's been written for that person or it's just been... It's just a nice song that someone wrote and the singer is given the song because it... The singer fits the song. So I'm not sure about that, but the way I understand it... Please don't go forever. I know you're gone now, but please don't go forever because I cannot bear that. I cannot bear to lose you. And uh, I hope it's not too late for you to return to me. Oh, so sad, but the person is crying. Of course, it's not enough for me to cry. <laughs> because again, I'm not there. It's not the same as when you're sitting and listening to the song. And again, in your native language, uh, when you understand exactly what the person is saying or maybe the song just relates to that person so much i mean toward my heart yeah you see you see you see i mean he he's he's just where's my heart it breaks my heart <laughs> that is crying but where's my heart that soyeon saying brings so many emotions to the persons to people's hearts that's so nice ah so this is begin again and we'll listen more to that because I'm interested what kind of songs, I hope she's choosing her own songs to sing uh, and I always liked her covers, she has a way of making a cover her own and again, we haven't listened to Isora's Jabal, but I'm, I'm not ready for that now I just want to leave, I just want to be left with this, with this emotion, with this feeling of Soyan's voice because I just like Soyan's tone and timbre uh, Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I'm sorry I was not more like sad because I was too excited to listen to Sian. But <laughs> yeah, we have what we have here. Mm -hmm. Hope you enjoyed my reaction, guys, after such a long time. Mm. But please wait for more. Yeah, more are definitely coming. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>